Well, we're just 41 days away from the midterms, and both parties are ramping up efforts to appeal to voters desperately. The latest polls show economy, inflation, education, and crime are the highest concerns for voters. While abortion uh, topic heavily pushed by Democrats, especially in June, July, much lower now. For reaction, let's turn to our political panel. Fox News contributor Charlie Hurt uh, and David Webb is here and Heritage Action Executive Director Jessica Anderson is with us. Jessica, first off, are you surprised that crime is pushed to number one uh, as we head to October 1st? No, I'm not surprised at all. We have two years plus of the defund the police movement that has ravaged blue cities all across America. And so, of course, crime is surging because there's no protections in place to keep people safe and secure. So what do voters do? What do moms like me and moms everywhere do? We say, who's going to keep our community safe? Who's going to keep our kids safe? And we're looking for an alternative. And that's really what it's going to come down to on the ballot is who is going to actually talk about and commit to these issues. And I think Republicans have the advantage when it comes to safety and security. And, and David, the weird thing is uh, the people that were saying uh, defund the police and uh, reimagine the police force. And uh, now we can't get cops. We can't get them to keep uh, the, uh, to not put down their badge. On top of that, we find out that uh, Karen Bass, for example, running for mayor against police, uh, got robbed. She doesn't feel safe. Mm. Two lawmakers in Illinois uh, got carjacked within 90 minutes of each other. They also want to reimagine police. So the reality is hitting the lawmakers, David. Well, the reality is hitting them, but they actually don't care, Brian. They haven't changed their policies. So whether Karen Bass loses two weapons, which, by the way, I checked, have not been found, whether those criminals use them to commit other crimes, they don't care because they have a bigger agenda. Democrats hold power at the expense of the people. And while the Republicans are holding an election and we, the voters, have to make a decision about our safety, they only are concerned about continuing to keep that power even if they're voted out of the majority and that's what matters to them look the american people are paying the price whether they're robbing or destroying a wawa or beating up a grandmother or you've got multiple offenders being let out of jail continually committing crimes these democrat policies and these democrats are hoping that americans have short-term memory and to the voters out there whether you're a republican democrat independent i don't care what you are if you're a law-abiding citizen just remember Remember, they're not going to show up and the police can't show up on time. Hey, uh, Joey, here's the thing. Uh, I was see this story today from Siena to Monmouth uh, to uh, Quinnipiac. These pollsters really feel as though they got to get this one right. They're losing credibility by the day. The latest approval poll by the president is at 39 percent. Last Saturday, it was at 45 percent. What are you to believe? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, I, I, I still, until they do get it right, I, I'm, I'm uh, very distrustful of all of these polls. But, the, the, uh, you know, but uh, of course, there's this enormous effort by Democrats in order to try to, to shift the discussion away from things like crime and the economy to talk about abortion. And the reason they're so desperate to do that is because when you look at the issues that people actually care about, like the, uh, the economy and like crime, right. all of these problems can be traced directly to policies I know. that have been embraced by Democrats for years, whether it's defund the police, mad spending, or this assault on energy independence in America. All of these things are directly linked to the, gr- the worst problems Americans face right now. And it, it's a perfect storm of uh, misery for Democrats come election time. Uh, and the president's uh, press secretary could not even answer the question, is crime a problem in this country uh, yesterday? Uh, with the shootings, just to cap this off in Philadelphia, over 1,600, New York City, 1,100, mm-hmm. and Chicago, over 1,000. And um, some, some of these aren't even counted. Let's talk about the economy. So far, the average American, Jessica, uh, 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 Jessica has lost... Um, $4,200 of income. The Dow has gone into a bear market first time in a long time. And the market's lost 20% overall. And you no longer can say, if you're President Biden, that gas prices are dropping. For the last six days, right. they've gone up. Right. Right. And inflation is at an all-time 40-year high of 8.3%. And the same families that are sitting around their kitchen table wondering how they're going to pay for their groceries, how they're going to fill up for gas are the same parents that are trying to make these decisions about where they're sending kids to the school this right. fall. Are they going to get indoctrinated with CRT? Are they going to have these leftist transgender policies shoved down their kids' throats without them knowing? And these are all the same issues that are in front of voters. So when you go back to your original poll and who do you actually believe? 
Candidates need to believe the American people. Elected officials need to believe the American people. They want to change. They want to see the country turn around and they want to see serious, thoughtful action when it comes to the economy, crime, education. Voters are, are, are complex, but we're simple. We want to know that Washington is working for us and that's not what we're getting right now, Brian. Right. Uh, that's why it's very tough uh, to spin your way out of this one. Uh, guys, thanks mm-hmm. so much for uh, diving into this. The last week of September, we know th- how quick things can change. Appreciate it.